Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. We're here with another Throne of Eldraine deck tech. Uh, so this is uh, one of the decks I'll be playing once I get all the cards on Thursday. We will be streaming all day Thursday from the time it goes live till about 6 or 7 Eastern uh, on Twitch. So make sure to follow on Twitch to know when we're live, what decks we'll be playing. And if you do miss any of the videos, you can catch them all uh, shortly thereafter on YouTube on the channel here. Uh, so we'll probably have them up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just pacing them out. Uh, so this particular deck here is uh, a mono black deck. So uh, you don't spend rare cards on lands pretty much other than some castles. Uh, but this is a deck I want to try out. It is a gruesome menagerie kind of aggro value grind engine kind of deck. So let me walk you through it. Um... As always, all my deck lists I'm posting on aetherhub.com. Just look up MTG Joe. Uh, anything with the ELD tag like this, you can find. We've posted a bunch of different deck lists, a lot of builds of current archetypes like Simic Flash, Is It Phoenix, stuff like that. And then a bunch of new cool brews with trying to focus on a lot of the new cards. So this particular deck here, what we're trying to do is build around a particular card called Gruesome Menagerie. So it's basically a reanimation spell, but you get to bring back three creatures of converted mana cost one, two, and three uh, to the battlefield. So you'll notice with our curve, we're not playing like a big black version where we play like Blood for Bones, something like that, to get back like Agent of Treachery or like a s other seven drops. We're trying to get kind of value out of our early drops. So an aggro curve, and then once they die, we can bring them all back. Um, so I have Cauldron Familiar. So this little cat is a one mana one one um, and really the only the first part of its text matters in our deck so when it enters the battlefield it drains the opponent for one and we gain a life uh, we don't play with food tokens in this particular build so it doesn't really matter as much uh, then we have our other one drops in gutter bones which is a recursive threat a one mana two one that can keep coming back and we also have knight of even legion uh, so this is like I said, in all of my black decks, I usually put some number of these. It's a very good creature early or late in the game, uh, and it gets bigger over time. We're playing uh, four Priests of Forgotten Gods. So if we can untap with this and be able to sack our creatures, Gutter Bones, you can sack Gutter Bones, and then with the mana you generate, return Gutter Bones to your hand. Uh, you get kind of that free value there. It gives us card draw and forces the opponent to sack stuff. I'm playing three Yarks Fen Lurkers. So this is basically a two mana card that we could pump mana into, similar to Knight of Even Legion late game, but it's a disruption card. It comes down, it forces the opponent to exile a card as early as turn two, and it could be something we could reanimate in the late game. The real payoff in this type of deck is Ayara. Uh, so this is a new legendary creature. It's a three mana, two, three. Uh, so whenever it or another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, it drains one and gains one, so mirroring the Cauldron Familiar's ability, but for all your black creatures. So it's kind of like burn, in a sense, in a uh, mono black shell. So we're playing a full four of, because she's so good, and uh, you can also sacrifice another black creature to draw a card. So this is a way, like, you can sack Gutter Bones, return it to your hand, if you've dealt damage, deal the damage, it's just a nice loop that you can play there. Uh, Playing three Midnight, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, two Midnight Re Reapers. Uh, so Midnight Reaper here is just a way to give us some more card draw. Our stuff's going to be dying because they're small, so then we can keep getting them back at that card draw engine. We're gaining life from like Aria and uh, the Familiar, so it's fine in that case. Full four of Murderous Rider. It's probably the best removal in the format, just in terms of hitting Planeswalkers or Creatures. And it also is a body on the flip side, so it's something we could get back. Uh, also, after with, with Swift Ends, it gets countered, anything like that, we can always bring it back with Menagerie. I'm playing three Rotting Registars. Um, it is a very strong creature, like stats on it, being a three mana seven six. Uh, we're likely going to be Hellbent by the time we do it. I just didn't want to overextend to four, just because we'll have a turn or two where we do need to cast the Menagerie. So if we have it, it close to our opener, we want to be able to keep that from being discarded. Uh, and then I'm playing one spawn of Mayhem. Uh, it might be make more sense to go a couple more spawns, but I want to test it out first. The reason that we didn't go higher on the curve is because it can't come back with Menagerie. 
So I'm playing a one of, although it casts for Spectacle 3, uh, it can't be returned. So we're kind of playing in that sense there. So it's really just built around like synergies with the Yara and all these small creatures. And then, like I said, we have the three gruesome menageries and then one cauldron of eternity. Our main board is fairly dense in terms of creatures. Uh, so this should in, oftentimes cost uh, anywhere between two to four mana. And then we can just keep returning creatures. The one thing is once this is out, it's kind of a non-bow with gruesome menagerie because stuff won't be put into the graveyard. But if we could just three mana every turn bring something back, it's good value. Like even just say you have an aria out you call drain you bring back a black creature then you sack it you draw a card and then you drain them and you just kind of get that loop going mana base wise tons of swamps and four castle lock weights uh this is just a good card draw engine uh, if we run out of cards if with rod and registrar you discard it you can draw play around like that uh, sideboard wise as always with these decks is a work in progress until we know what the meta is like but this is my first uh, kind of kick at it we're really just trying to hedge our matchups game one we're the aggressor uh, and then we can tailor it uh, for duress versus any sort of control or mid-range mirrors uh, then you have a spark harvest we have a lot of cheap creatures in our deck so this is a one mana removal spell um, might consider going up more of these and maybe in lieu of a duress uh, Three Legions End, uh, we have a hard time against Hydra Crisis, any sort of go-wide decks. There was a lot of Knights or Aggros decks, so this is a way to kind of deal with the go-wide strategies. Uh, four Noxious Grasps, it's concession to green, which is very powerful right now. A lot of the green Stompy lists were showing up in the preview. And then uh, these are my six drops that I want to try out for the control matchup. Um, so being mono black, we can't deal with artifacts or enchantments except for Ugin, so that's a way we can play. Um, and then Bolas' Citadel and Liliana, both are kind of card draw engines. Liliana is good uh, against the control matchup where they might not have ways to deal with our Planeswalkers. And then the Bolas' Citadel is, we're getting a lot of life so we can pay it into it to get more card advantage that way. Uh, so this is the deck itself. Let me know what you think, if I missed anything, if there's anything you'd suggest otherwise. But uh, it's nice to see that the standards kind of being pushed into more monocolor decks. We've been used to four or five color mat like monstrosities with like 24 dual lands. So being able to save like a lot of the rares, uh, it's pretty high on the rare count just because a lot of the good black cards are rares. But you're not paying, like my Saltai list is I think somewhere in like the... 42 range of rares and then like a bunch of mythics it's got like three uncommons which are basics uh so this is a good mix to kind of play something else that's uh not as heavy mana base wise so like i said we'll be streaming all the new decks on thursday uh, make sure to stop by on twitch and if you can't uh everything will be up here on youtube thanks for tuning in and good luck with your polls